Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Mocha. I will be showing how to use the planar tracking tool in Mocha. What, what this allows us to do is uh, create a track uh, that is accurate with perspective. Now while uh, simply using the transform data of a track is uh, sometimes useful. We often need a planar track when a uh, object uh, changes in perspective. So to start, we'll create a new project, open up our clip, Okay, so here we have this nice little clip of side of a railroad car. And what we're going to do is track this, uh, track this railroad car and we'll uh, replace some of the text here. Now in order to get it to appear correctly since we are moving around it and all that, uh, we will need to do a planar track in order to get the uh, perspective correct so that our text uh, will stretch and align correctly with uh, this real car. So, uh, we want to go into our track tab, grab our x spline tool, and from about this line to this line is where we're going to track. So, just uh, start drawing my x spline. And to zoom in, I can press the Z key and then X to, mo to move around. Then we can adjust the handles if we need to. So, something like that. Now we can, we need to check perspective because uh, without perspective ch checked, our tracking area will not deform correctly and will just stay the same size, which is not what we want and will not give us an accurate result. All right, now we can track this forward and I'll pause the video while it does that. So here we have our finished planar track. And it's looking pretty good. But we can also turn on our grid and our show planar surface and we'll just line it up with these corners here Alright, so this should show us uh, the correct perspective of our railroad car. So we'll just play this to check how that how that's working.
and boom. Thank you, Mocha, for making our lives so much easier. You can see that this surface just sticks right to the side of that car. And uh, I don't see any slipping or uh, uh, just the track sliding from where it should be. So what we can do now is go into our adjust track and just if we see any any bit of drift in our track we can easily correct that so uh, in this magnifier here we have our master frame and our current frame and they seem to match up pretty well. Except that our master frame should be right here. Let's see if I can just set master. We're going to set master all. Okay. And that makes this the master frame. So we can give this a slight adjustment. I think this upper right corner is a little bit off, so we can move that. And then we can also use this nudge here to get it right where we want it. Okay, so I think the line should be about right here. That looks like it lines up.
and the rest of this should be right on track. Alright, so we've just uh, tracked our footage and created this planar surface so that uh, we have uh, uh, we have a shape that matches the perspective that we need and After Effects has done uh, such an excellent actually Mocha has done such an excellent job because we have all this text and information within our uh, X-spline uh, that allows Mocha to do such a good job so what we need to do now is within our adjust track module we can click export tracking data and instead of doing the transform data we want the After Effects corner pin so we'll click that and we'll hit uh, copy to clipboard and so now uh, I'm going to take a frame from this uh, clip and I'm going to bring it into Photoshop uh, and we'll just paint out this text and replace it with some of our own.